Hello, hello, this is episode one of my journey to getting into RAM. So I have my recall in just over two weeks for the Masters in Musical Theatre at Royal Academy of Music. And I just wanted to document my process into how I'm gonna get there, whether I get in or not. I just thought maybe people might like to have something that they can relate to, something that they can learn from, maybe learn from my mistakes or find tips that they haven't thought of before and holding myself accountable on working on it every single day. So for the audition, they've asked to do exactly what I had to do for my first round, which is three contrasting songs, uh, a, mono a contemporary monologue and interview questions, showing range um, and things like that. Things like the interview questions were more like, what's your motivation for coming here? And just things about yourself personality wise, like what do you like to do in your spare time? Um, tell us something interesting about yourself that no one would know, things like that. Um, so for my first round, I had to do a self tape and the songs I sang were astonishing for my kind of contemporary. I sang If I Loved You for my legit and I sang Living on a Prayer for like a pop, rocky, Variation. My great adventure has begun. I may be small, but I've got giant plans to shine as brightly as the sun. I also did my monologue from Space Wang, The Kitchen Sink, which is about, it was about shoplifting. It was quite like a, a cheeky um, comedic monologue. Um, and it was a nice little contrast because not long before, I'd just been working on a tragedy, a modern version of, Cly uh, of Agamemnon, so the Clytemnestra monologue at the end. So it's very, very serious, very um, sort of grounding. It was very challenging. It was very exciting to do. So I wanted to pick something completely different. He panics and you run off. Next time though, he remembers. And you just see him thinking, not worth it. <laughs> so you can get quite a lot of vodka really. One thing I also may say, which probably will, I thought wouldn't help my chances of getting in, was that I applied on the re- opening of the applications. So for some reason, they reopened all the applications. Um, normally they, they finish them around December, January and open them in October. But I applied 24th of February and I didn't realise that that was also the deadline for auditions going in. So I think I applied actually on like the 21st, 22nd and then I got an audition and they said the deadline was 24th. I was like, great. So, learnt the monologue in 24 hours and filmed it all. It was a very stressful day of filming, but we did it and we're here. Um, if you don't know me, you can tell my voice is a little bit tired, a little bit hoarse at the moment. So it's very annoying that I can't practice to the full, to my full potential. Um, I'm just a little bit run down. Um, so I'm just making sure to look after my voice. And I also teach. So that's not really helping the evenings where I'm projecting a lot. <laughs> I'm learning how to practice silently and learning what to do when you're not very well. So you can still do the work if you're not on top form, which is so important. Um, so follow along if you want to see if I get in. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna breathe in big letters. Sorry for the messiness of my writing in this sheet, but I've written the lyrics down basically in black. This is the section where I probably will cut, but I've kept it in anyway. Um, so I've written down some actions in a different colour, things to sort of think about. Um, I've underlined things that I would like to emphasise in the song. Um, again, an, another action, maybe where, where I want to switch my train of thought. Um, maybe when to play it softer. Um, just little tactics that I, need, I can try. For example, with this one, and though my soul will die with you, I don't know whether she feels disgusted that it will still 
die with him even though he's done this or I can take pity on him so I'm going to try both those actions when I practice the song um and then make that different from the beginning where she's just baffled she's calm she's trying to understand she's questioning him um it's just very sincere and then she switches and that's I want to show that difference in the song and that journey through it to then her sort of questioning getting back at and then trying to empathize with him a bit more and the whole action for the song is to make him stay um using three sort of different tactics So it doesn't necessarily work feeling sorry for myself because melody wise, it all goes up to our child will not be left alone. There's like a, a pinnacle climax moment in the song and to have that frustration build through the line before makes a lot more sense. So I think I will stick with that disgust powering me through to the next line my voice isn't back yet I'd follow you I'll be selfish too I'd gladly join you in the grave But there's a vow I won't betray She'll never see me walk away For I was once where she young without a home or a family that frustration at the end i wasn't thinking about the frustration because all i was thinking about was my voice i'm not going to sing anymore today just because as my voice is recovering um there's no point overdoing it because i won't be rested for more for tomorrow so um this was helpful and it's so weird because so much of the emotion just comes through singing it and the melody and that. So, thinking about acting through it and not thinking about singing is so difficult, but I'm gonna leave it on this song today, come back to it tomorrow. Some actions may change, which is cool, but when I'm in full voice, I might find that things don't work so I can change them. And hopefully by tomorrow, I'll have my, my my piano track without the words and I can cut it down to what I'm actually gonna do so I can practice it properly. So that's exciting. So along the way, I'll probably fill in what was different about my bird experience and my auditioning experience for bird. If anyone has any questions about that um, or about dance schools, um, feel free to ask.